What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill Blind. In the last episode, we made our way into this alternate hospital and explored a bit of the first floor, and I believe the third floor as well. And we found some plates and some other items, and in this episode, we're going to explore the rest of the first floor, or what we can explore of it, and then move to either the basement, maybe the second floor, who knows? I am joined here by my, my puppy who is lonely and I'm the only person in the house right now. So maybe that'll be some, some comfort amongst this this creepy environment. But yeah, I also want to apologize again for the somewhat sporadic uh, lack of consistent uploads lately. It's just been a matter of um, a lot going on in, in real life and trying to make sure I'm doing a few different things and trying to kind of recenter myself on what's really important and what YouTube is one of those things but you know I've just been trying to figure out a couple other things first too regardless there have been a lot of good games coming out lately unfortunately I haven't been able to play too many of them do we have a nurse oh it's a doctor okay so we didn't get the full so I think he took like four four shots before he actually sliced us which is good to know because, like I've been saying, we want to figure out when we were able to interrupt their attack cycles. And clearly that was not enough time. But I also couldn't really judge how close he was up until he was, well, too close. I think we'll be fine, given the music's not, you know, telling us that there are any more enemies. What does this say? Can I not look at this? Oh, but it looks so interactable. What about in the corner over here? Anything of interest? No? Okay. I know Halloween has come and gone, but I'm still feeling up for the spooky mood. So, here we are. Now, let's check. Are we going to be able to go to the other part of the first floor? We are not. A sound is heard from beyond the door. I'm not hearing any sounds from beyond the door. Did you guys hear something? Alright, well, regardless, we're not going to be able to go that way. We are able to go the other through this big door though. So actually before I do that I want to make sure I have my gun reloaded. Okay, we still have 150 bullets so we're doing plenty fine. Okay, we are in the ready. We can have a nurse, doctor. That looks like a, uh, a doctor to me. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, that was definitely an extra shot there, but definitely wanted to play it safe. Okay, so we've got that room there. This, I believe, should be the, the medicine room. Oh, wait, where's the door to the medicine room? What, or was it just that one on the right that I saw? I don't think so. No, it wasn't. Okay. So we can go back towards the entrance, or we can check out the bathrooms. Let's inspect the bathrooms first. <clears throat> Let's inspect the bathrooms first. Alright, I guess the game has other plans. Oh, the game definitely has other plans. And definitely wants us to go up the stairwell. Okay, so somewhat as anticipated, we're able to get to the second floor from this stairwell. What should we expect? Well, we should be able to go and inspect those rooms, 201 through 204, the bathrooms. And we'll see where we can go from there. So let's head on up. I don't think there will be an enemy immediately waiting for us. Not in this little first room. We could keep going up, which is worth noting. Maybe, let me check the map again to see what the third floor looked like. Oh, we could go up or through this stairwell regardless. Okay, well that's good to know. Then let's see what we've got going on in here. The door is not locked. Oh, hello there. I think... So it took six shots. With a stomp. What I was going to say is, my question is, is there more than one enemy though? Right? I always make... I always come in here thinking, oh, I see an enemy, I hear the music. I could also hear that music way in the background. I can hear something shuffling around. 
I was going to say, whenever I hear the music and I see an enemy, I assume it's just that enemy. However, in reality, there's a very real chance there could be, well, you know, more than one of them out there trying to get me. So, that being said, let's, let's take a look. Sure enough, question is, what is it? Looks like it's going to be a nurse. Wow, three bullets? Did, uh, what's his name? His name is Harry, right? Did, did he just, like, I don't know. Slate. Nothing more than that. Can we use one of our items with it? No. No. Blood pack? No. <laughs> Not surprised. Red liquid? No. Um, I was gonna say, do you just do some, like, target practice in between the last couple episodes, or what? Because that was three shots from, from pretty far away. So now we can at least look in these four different rooms. Oh. What is that, that sound effect? Oh my. So I'll take it, that's the, uh, the monster I'm hearing. Clearly don't want to walk into that. I'm glad I used the camera to get a glimpse ahead of time. The question is, why is it here? And is it potentially protecting from something? Right? It's... I don't see any items around it that I could, you know, pick up. The other question is, am I doing anything with this? It doesn't look like it. I'll get a little bit closer. Ah. So it is indeed protecting an item. Should I... I'll try the shotgun. We've got a decent amount of shotgun ammo. Let's see here. We have... We have 40 shotgun shells. Okay, so not a ton, but I'll, I'll give it a go for the sake of exhausting options. Okay, so I, I think the idea is we're not supposed to actually use a gun here. <laughs> um, let's equip the steel pipe. See if we can kind of batter it like that. I don't I don't think we're actually hitting it. I think that's just a, a sound effect. So I think Ooh, and it is definitely locked onto me. And that is clearly a plate that we're gonna need. But how are we gonna get that thing? I feel like we're gonna need to use some sort of like fire or I don't know. Let's let's equip our handgun again just to, before I forget and walk out there and try to fight, try to shoot some enemies and end up swinging and you know, into thin air. So there was that thing there. <laughs> However, we're supposed to deal with that, and I think it has the fourth plate we need for that one. I think there was a steel plate on the wall, and we probably need to put all four of them in there. Okay. Oh, hello there. Two, three. Four. Another one? Okay, I was gonna say. Harry, what happened? You sniped the other one in three hits. Okay, is there anything of interest in here? What is this? What are you? A lighter. Okay. I th I'm thinking more and more about my guess of fighting that monster with fire. I think the real question is, can we equip the lighter one, and two, what would we set on fire? Did I just skip over it, or? Oh, here's the lighter. Oil lighter found in room 201. Can't use it here. Okay, I, I'm, I'm curious enough to go back to that room and at least give it a go. So let's head back over here and see if we get close enough, obviously without you know, I guess getting getting too close. So we're like pretty close. Tentacle things are definitely spazzing out right now. <laughs> Very excited to see us. Okay, and the lighter's not gonna work. So I think what we'll need to do is find oil. And then after finding that oil, we'll need to come back, use the oil on the ground there, and then light it on fire. That's my impression at least. We could also just end up using the lighter for a completely different purpose. Which is okay. Anything here? 
No? What if I turn this way? No? Okay. Looks like a pretty, pretty tame room. Is this something here that I can interact with? I keep mistaking, do you guys see that on the table? Like what's on the table there? I keep thinking that I can, whoa camera. I keep thinking I can interact with those straps, but every single time it's not something I can actually work with. All right, let's take a look at the map. On our right, we have what? We have the stairwell that we first came in, and then in front of us we have the bathrooms we try to get to. So it looks like our next bet is gonna be the nurse center, which should be on this side. On the go, no. Ooh, but this is a pretty narrow, narrow passage. Ooh, what do we have written here? Clouds flowing over a hill. Oh, I should, I'm gonna take a picture of this. That, was, that worked really well the first time around, so I'm going to want to do that again. Clouds flowing over a hill. Sky on a runny day. Sunny day. <laughs> Tangerines that are bitter. Lucky four-leaf clover. Violets in the garden. Dandelions along a path unavoidable sleeping time. So what was interesting is most of these were, I think, associated with a particular color. Liquid flowing from a slashed wrist. Huh? Uh... Hold up a minute. That got awfully twisted awfully quick. For the sake of just kind of getting the full picture. Clouds flowing over a hill. Sky on a sunny day. Tangerines that are bitter, lucky four-leaf clover, violets in the garden, dandelions along a path, unavoidable sleeping time, liquid flowing from a slash wrist. So I think they're they're depicting a a so, like a suicide scene, but um clearly that's supposed to be a a riddle of sorts or a hint as far as solving a particular puzzle goes. There are four square indentations on the door. Gotcha. So clearly we're gonna need to use the four plates there. Let me see if I can use one of them without having all of them yet. Okay, I can. Where do I want to set the plate? Oh! So here's the violet, here's the white, here's the, or like the clouds, here's the, you know, the tangerines. Um, the black is maybe unavoidable sleepy time, I guess. Maybe. I'm, I'm not sure. We have the cat one, right? That's what we're asking about. So what would a cat be related to? Hmm. I'm not sure. For the time being though, we can put it there and just have them all there. I wonder if I'm allowed to, or how easy it is to move them. Which plate do I want to remove? can't remove that plate. Oh, so I have to manually remove and then replace them each time. It's not like I can put them all in there and then shift them around. So the queen one, square red plate with a queen of hearts, square blue plate with a picture of a mock turtle, square yellow plate with a picture of a Cheshire cat. Okay, I think more so than anything, it's about the colors. So liquid flowing from a slashed wrist is obviously the last one. Um, which would probably be the red one. My question is, what's the order here? It looks like if we maybe start with the, the white one. Um, let's take a look. Clouds flowing over a hill. I believe that would be the, the white one, you know, up here. And then the next one would be sky on a sunny day. That's going to be the blue one then tangerines that are bitter. So I think we're working clockwise. Then we'd have lucky four-leaf clover, which I think is that green one being protected by the monster. Then we have violets in the garden. Then we have dandelions along a path, which I think would be the yellow one we have, the Cheshire cat. Then unavoidable sleeping time, which is the black one. And then up here would be the red one, the liquid flowing from a slashed wrist. I think, I think given the order of the poem and everything, that's what we're gonna want to do. So let's put in what we can now. If I recall correctly, blue is the sky, which um, should come right after the, the clouds, right? Yeah, clouds flowing over a hill, sky on a sunny day. 
So we'll put that one there. And then it's tangerines, then green, then violet, then yellow. Now, obviously, I, I probably could have and arguably should have waited till I had all of them to, to do this, but it's nice to have at least put in the thought work at this point and know that these items are being used for this particular thing. See, I actually was under the impression these would be used for the steel plate that we encountered earlier, but I guess that's not the case. I also, given that that door is locked, probably think this one is going to be locked too. Yep, okay. So up until this point, we've explored most of what we have available. I think the only thing we haven't explored that we have access to is the basement. So let's head there next. What, oh wait, what does this say? Okay, the Grim Reaper's List. The Grim Reaper's List. That's a very grim way of saying recently deceased patients, I think. Um, I'll take a picture of this too, because clearly the words, of, you know, the names, maybe the initials, uh, the numbers are going to play an important role at some point. You know, Lydia finally, Trevor F. White, Albert Lords, Roberta T. Morgan, Edward C. Briggs. Hmm. Okay. So this should take us back to the stairwell. We can head back down to the first floor this way and then run on over to the other stairwell to head down to the basement. And hopefully find something of interest, right? Something we can get that last green plate with. Because I feel like that's the next big story puzzle we need to solve. There's like the birdcage, there's also the video player, which I think might play an important role. But at the same time, maybe, maybe our like side puzzles. Regardless, here we go to the basement. The basement in the alternate hospital. This is going to be spooky. Can you hear how much more menacing the music is already? Can to have the bug things? Oh, no, straight up nurses right off the bat. Okay. Oh, from behind. Dang. Um, <laughs> did you guys see that? I was like trying to run away. Run away! Run away! <laughs> Such a funny animation. Oh, no, no, no! Okay, we're probably pretty low on health now. Yeah. I thought I got the, the final hit for it to at least like back off. Um, that was wrong. Okay. Yeah, that, that backwards run, that little hop, <laughs> that's absolutely hilarious. Okay, well, we're not, you know, doing super hot with health right now, but we're not awful either. Let's just see if we can go in this room. Oh, we can, we couldn't go. Oh, hello there. Three, four, five, oh, you gotta run. Harry, you gotta run. Harry, get him off of you. Okay. Oh, darn, they're just, like, getting right up in our faces. Nope, get off. Get off. Yeah, that's right, you punch them, Harry. No, they're just taking turns hugging you at this point. Yes, hugging. I wonder, are, are these, like, doing damage? Are these, like, you know, damaging hugs? Or are they just trying to pin me down? Okay, finally. Jeez, that was... That was a very prolonged encounter. It didn't look like I actually lost any health, so that's good to know that that attack at least doesn't hurt me. Um, it just kind of eats up time and is a bit disruptive. I obviously didn't have a lot of space to run around in this particular uh, this room, but... Okay, now we finally have the time to explore. A body's laid on the bed. Don't feel like checking this out. I'm sure there will be one, though. <laughs> a body's laid on the bed. Don't feel like checking this out. Body's laid on the bed, don't feel like checking this out. How about that health drink at the end, though? Feel like checking that out? Because I do. <laughs> and is this another ample? God dang, this music is menacing. Okay, so we are we are doing super hot on the, the healing items. Let's see this body. No? Okay. How about this body? No? Okay. Alright then. Looks like we came here to get some healing items. And, of course, to explore and see what this room is. Because, again, we couldn't actually go in that room. 
in the the regular hospital. So it's good to know what's in the the morgue. <laughs> Next up, we can head into maybe the generator room and the boiler room. I feel like the storeroom is going to be a bigger room, so I want to save that for last. This is the stairwell. Don't want to make that mistake again. Let's head in the generator room. Okay. No menacing enemies. No ominous music to an extent. What do we have here? A hammer. Hammer. <laughs> Thunder! For those of you that, that get the reference. That's a game I haven't played in a long time. Okay, so the generator is on. We have a hammer. Let's think real quick. What can we use a hammer for that we haven't been able to, I don't know, get passed up until this point? We could try the hammer on the tentacle thing. I don't think that's the answer. But it could be something. Um, we could use the hammer on the birdcage rather than a key to break it open. There was the steel plate. I don't think we could use the hammer on that, but who knows? Otherwise, I can't really think of too much else. But we'll see. It could also just be a stronger weapon that we now have access to, right? Up until this point, we had the steel pipe. And I'd imagine the hammer's just a little bit stronger. <laughs> um, anything down here? No? Okay. All right, to the storeroom we go. To the storeroom we don't go. <laughs> It looks like we've explored, I think, just about everywhere we can. We've gone into the basement, and we've checked out the basement. On the first floor, we've gone through all the rooms we can go through. On the, th on the second floor, we went through everything we can. We just need that fourth plate, which is in room 204. On the third floor, we explored everything. Um, I think room 301 had the birdcage. Room 302 has the video player. Room 304 has the steel plate. I don't think we were able to do anything with those. I don't remember too much about the right side, you know, rooms 305 through 7 and the storage room. But I don't remember there being a whole bunch over there. And then we obviously can't access the, uh, the fourth, the secret hidden fourth floor. <laughs> uh, so I'm tempted to go back to the second floor. Oh, I probably shouldn't have gone in here. Because, will the elevator actually take us? Yeah, we'll be able to go across on the first floor. How about the second floor, though? That's right, we can't go through that door that leads out of the elevator there. And, why couldn't we go through the nurse center again? Oh, no, that's right, that's because of the puzzle. Okay, so clearly that's, you know, our, our end point. Uh, so let's head back out of the elevator, actually. Aw, oh, can I not just walk right back out? Well, we can at least go to the first floor, because I was just going to walk up those stairs right next to the elevator anyways. I guess Harry's missing out on some of his steps for the day. I'll have to make up for it later. A little bit of exercise. That's something I've been trying to get back to lately, and have been struggling with quite a bit. Okay... So Harry is moving and grooving. We can walk over this way. At the very least, walking through the halls isn't as tense as it was when there were still enemies to be found. So, I guess that's a, a small delight of having explored most of the areas. I feel like I got a better grip on how to get around as well, so not spending as much time looking at the map. All right, all right, bud. I see you. Let's try this hammer. Highly damaging, but hard to use. Oh, look at that, he's using the, the sharp end of it. Okay, what happens if I get closer? I, I don't know if I'm even taking damage from it. Can't use the lighter. Hmm. The kitchen knife. Maybe you gotta slice and dice a little bit. It doesn't seem like it. Do I have to, like, shoot it from way afar or something like that? So that it's not, like riling around as much. I doubt that would be the solution. But we can take a look. 
yeah, that does not seem to be the right solution. Can I get around, like, on the side? No. How am I supposed to get around that? Hmm. Well, maybe we go back to the third floor? Room 201 didn't have anything. That's all I can think of is going back to the third floor because I think we explored the first floor pretty well. We can go back to rooms 301, 302, 304, see what they have to offer. Maybe, I mean, 306 in the storage room because I don't remember them that well. But, but I'm not sold on the idea. <laughs> well, obviously, you know, spend a little bit of time looking into the... Oh, wait, that's right. I did not want to... Uh, Go in this room. I wanted to go one more to the right. There we go. I obviously have a spoiler-free walkthrough I could turn to. Um, I don't want to go to that just yet, though. I want to give this a bit more of a, a genuine attempt. We could try going up. What happens if we go up? This um, wasn't on the map. I don't have the map for this place. Okay, so this would be the fourth floor, and it uh, doesn't exist, I guess. Okay, well, at least that that solves that mystery. Let's head in this room. I believe this was the room with the birdcage. It was. All right, let's see if we can do anything with the birdcage. It's empty. There's got to be something we can use it with. So let's let's use our, I don't know, old point-and-click adventure skills and try to use all of our items with it. That was not very effective, but that's okay. That didn't work. Um, we weren't able to use any of our current items with it. And again, it doesn't look like there's too much else going on here. Bird cage, it's empty. And it's not like they're letting me just take the cage itself. But why is it relevant? <laughs> I don't think they would include a red herring, or at least too many of them. But again, I'm not really seeing much use. Okay, doesn't look like we can use any, any of our items here, so I guess we'll come back after doing a little bit more exploring. There's not much else to do about it, right? We don't have a video to play in the video player, but that is something we could look into a bit more. VCR, it's old but usable. Yeah. But we don't have anything to use with it. We don't have any videos to play. Or do we? Blood pack? <laughs> no. Lighter? <laughs> I didn't think so. At the very least, we used up all the plates and know that what those know what those are for. I guess I can save while I'm here. Better safe. Better saved than sorry. Alright, this room, I believe this is the one with the steel plate. Maybe? It is. What do we have here? A steel plate is screwed to the wall. There was one other place where we saw a blank slate, right? It's screwed to the wall. I thought initially that we need to find like a screwdriver or something. I don't think this is going to work. No. Um, I thought we'd have to find like a screwdriver to take it off, but that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Can't use the lighter, can't use the blood pack, can't use the unknown liquid. Well, I don't have a whole lot more to go off of. There are those straps that keep baiting me every time I see them. Is there anything else? 
Where else could we use the lighter? We are on the third floor. Let's let's head back over to the storage room and room 306. Those are kind of my last guesses because I don't think anything has changed in the rooms we have seen. Oh, we're not gonna be able to go through there. We have to go through the linen room. Maybe we start a dryer fire or something like that with the. They're useless now. When will they be useful? Can I? I don't know. Light one of them on fire? No, doesn't seem so. There's got to be something in one of them. But it doesn't doesn't seem like it. Just to be a hundred percent sure that I try all the things. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Then we'll head on over to the storage room, I believe is right here. What is in here? Nothing useful in these boxes. What about these bottles? I remember we found certain items here, like health drinks and stuff. There are drugs in some of these bottles. I would think maybe I could light them on fire or something. Empty bottles. Could I light them on fire? No. Can I fill them with blood? No. Okay. I'm trying to get real creative here, guys. Bear with me. Nothing helpful. Okay. What about over here? More straps? Alright, well... Again, I'm not really seeing much. Maybe there's something like on the floor. That's all I can think of is maybe there's something on the floor that I'm missing. This is room 306. I think this might be where we got the blood packet in the first place. Very rarely do they include puzzle solutions or relevant puzzles in the room you actually get the item. I'm not seeing a lot in here either. Maybe I have to trigger some sort of event? No. I feel like I need to find oil. I need to find something flammable I can use in that room to get that plate. I guess like the only room left is that men's bathroom and I'm not thinking we'll find anything in there actually. We could try the half of the first floor I explored primarily, or no, that was this episode, right? I don't know, last episode I looked through a lot of that, so we can try that again just to be safe. But But I'm not really I'm not really sold on the idea. We can go to the elevator and check out the first room or the first floor again. And I think if that search turns up negative, that's when we'll consult the spoiler free walkthrough. That saves both you and me time. <laughs> No fourth button magically appeared on the elevator. Taking note. Sometimes the loading screens are so long I feel like they're like cutscenes or something like that. That's the room to the ba the door to the basement. Let's check in here. Again. Not really seeing much. Anything on these shelves? No. Can we get back here? We can just save. This is the director's office again. Anything else? No. It doesn't look like it. Definitely doesn't look like it. You can go to this room then. The kitchen. Are there any like pots or pans or is there any oil we can find in here? In the sink? No, in that corner. In this sink? In this box on the ground? In the refrigerator? No? Getting desperate here, guys. No? Doesn't look like it. On the wall here? How about this, like, center area? Anything here of interest? No? What about in this pot? No? Can I not look at it? What's the point of the kitchen in this alternate school version then? I don't know, guys. I don't know. 
Alright, well... Can't say we didn't try. How about in this room? It's locked. This room is what I meant. Straps on that table that I can't interact with. Anything going on here on this shelf? No. Anything maybe in like a drawer here? Nothing useful in the desk drawer. Okay. Nothing there. What did we find in here? It's probably a plate of some sort or ammo or something on the ground like that. All right, well, that pretty much wraps up our comprehensive search of the various rooms. Our, our last bet is this medicine room, but I'm not optimistic that we'll suddenly find, you know, one thing in the very final room, the very last room we decide to actually check out. The one I believe we checked out at the beginning of this episode. So, yeah, I'm going to check out the spoiler-free walkthrough online before the next episode, just because, again, we've tried looking through all the rooms, uh, I know I need to get that fourth plate in order to solve that one puzzle. They're the tentacle things. I feel like I need to find an oil and light them on fire. I tried using, I think, all of my items and to no avail. Maybe I feel like, did I, did I try using the blood or the unknown liquid to, to burn the tentacles? I think I did. I think I tried using it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty stumped. We have the birdcage. I tried breaking it open, tried using any of the items we have. We clearly are missing some sort of key item or some place I can interact with where I can use one of the items. We found that blank slate. We found that steel plate. And I tried using my items with those and didn't have any luck. So maybe there's there's got to be something I'm just, I'm just missing. Uh, I thought maybe it was one of the bodies in the morgue, but we inspected each and every one of them. So I'm at a bit of a loss. Uh, hopefully you guys are being patient and hopefully you guys aren't too frustrated with me if it seems like I just completely missed something that was super obvious. But thanks for understanding. And nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope you guys enjoy, even if I'm struggling, watching my, my experience and uh, getting to relive the, the innocence of not knowing what's coming next or what the story entails and, and all that. But... Anyways, until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.